this is your weekly forecast for May the 5th, 2019 for all the signs. If you would like hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. And if you want a reading with me, do use the link below. So this week it feels like there is an ending of something that's been going on for two years. And this is uh, either cut short or that you've been culminating this has been going on for that long and now you're at the end where you can see uh, the light at the end of the tunnel you can see um, that things are coming to an end that you've resolved um, that you have uh, graduated that you have finished what it was that you've started for uh, two years ago so for example Aries people you might be uh, having a sudden shift in the way that you think in the way that you um, comprehend uh, a self-belief system or you know something that you're doing in your life uh, for Taurus it might be the way that you see things uh, see things clearly uh, that kind of thing uh, you know, for Pisces, it might be, you know, how I've been going, my solid footing, my solid foundations, uh, my movement forward, my progression has been stifled or I've been working towards my moving forward. Um, but now we've come to the end of that, my journey, and I'm on to the next leg or I'm now able to move forward to wherever I was. So in your study and finance and career, you do have the three of cups. Now this is, you know, I've been looking at those small details. I have been comprehending uh, in the process that I've been using has got me um, some really good feedback. It's got me some joy and jubilation. So this is if I'm looking for a job, I've got a job, I've got that promotion. Now this is about... Um your duties, looking at the smaller details. This is about your mental abilities, any way you're communicating with the ideas, creativity. Um, you're having a win this week. So there, there is some movement there. Um, the process is moving forward. So I'm on to the next leg or I've gotten where I need to go. So um, this could have been a long journey or this is something you've been working on for the last, say, 30 days. But now you see that there is going to be some luck there. Now, for some of you, this is... Um, we're celebrating together as a team uh, for getting in that uh, big contract, that lucrative client, or the resources uh, of a project or a product or you know whatever it is that we do for a living is now reaping those rewards. At home, you do have the uh, four of uh, cups. Now, this is emotionally. I feel like I'm not going. I'm not being recognised. I'm not being um, given that emotional support. I feel like I'm invisible. You know, why is nobody? helping me I feel very much alone this is uh, for some of you a victim mentality well, this is a isolation, depressive, uh, feeling anxious and feeling unable to see which way I'm going and I need help but I'm unable to ask for help because this person here is, um, you know, sitting in front of the tree of life and they're not accepting the help that's there or they're unable to grasp that. They aren't very happy where they are. They could be stubborn. They could be upset. They could be, you know, depressed and unable to take that next step to grasp what they need to to be able to uh, move forward. Now, for some of you, this is an issue that is um, keeping you stuck where you are. We've got three other cups that are stable. So this is one issue here that you're not able to go past. Now, this could also be someone in the family who is, um, you know, got some mental issues. So if it's not you, maybe it's someone in the family who's, you know, mental decline, mental issues, a lot on their mind, uh, and they're not accepting the help. Um, they're not getting out of their own way. Now, lastly, this is, okay, someone's offered a family member or a flatmate, anything to do with your home, your property. Uh, actually, uh, just in my mind, I just heard about anything to do with rental. So you've... Um, you're not getting the rental decrease. Uh, there has been a rental increase. There's something there to do with your landlord or to do with your rent where you're not happy with, with the process of you know finances. So if it's gone up $15 a week or you've asked for it to go down due to whatever reason. So getting back to what I was saying, anything to do with your property, so who you live with, flatmates, family members, uh, whoever you're dealing with, if this is your home or your children, there is an issue there uh, where there is some stubborn justifying behavior, maybe even the cold shoulder. With our house, we do have the six of cups now for some of you this is I have been on this journey for a while now this could be two years or this could be whatever it is that I've been doing with my physical self and I've gotten to a point where I'm actually getting some really uh, good results so for some of you might be saying I haven't felt this good in years since my childhood I haven't looked this good I haven't been this thin 
I haven't had this much energy. I haven't had this much toning and, you know, whatever to do with my body since I was a child or, you know, from, um, you know, for years. Mobility as well. Now, for others, this is, um, I'm doing a charity run, something this week for something very close to my heart. For others, this is, okay, so there's a reoccurring issue at the moment um, that is uh, inherited or this has come back from my childhood and perhaps these two together. There is some health issues here and feeling very much unsupported. With our love, we do have the six of uh, swords. So this is dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, uh, sorry, a um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Now this card says... Um, I'm moving forward or we're going to move forward as a couple very slowly. Now, if this is a single person, you know, you might be mourning, you might be grieving, you might be, um, you know, mourning the loss of a partner, you know, love or through death, a separation, you're missing someone, maybe they're overseas, maybe they're away at work, whatever the mourning is for you and your partner, um, it's really slow movement forward. It's a slow recovery. So if this is someone that you've lost, in a hurtful, harmful way um, that's been a while. This card says, okay, well, I'm going through that process where I might be nearly ready to put myself out there. If this is to do with um, a couple that are together, there's something here about slow movement. It's going to take a while. It's going to take... Um, a recovery period. I'm, there's no boat, uh, there's no motor on this boat, so it's sl slow moving. For some of you, this is I've... Um, there's been some sort of domestic violence. There's been some sort of domestic issue uh, where me and my pa uh, me, myself or myself and children need to uh, go away for a while or permanently. But putting these two together, we've got this stubborn, uh, you know, around the around the home, we've got this stubborn behaviour where, um, you know, silent treatment, stubbornness, justifying, refusing to see, delusional, um, you know, mental issues, you know, not accepting an apology or refusing to give one. And then we've got this one here, which is about slow movement. For some of you, you are moving on. But if this is a we've got to back together, it's going to take some time. Again, so if this is someone that's single, getting back out there, it's still, you know, take take your time. It's going to take some, um, it's going to take a little bit of time for you. Go slow. Your adoring virtue messages from the angels is... So Melina says, look, you're really confused. Now, this is to do with the um, health issue. Um, you know, you're getting information from one, information from the other. You know, if this is a situation where we need to have more than one doctor, more than one specialist in a row, it's almost like they all need to come together to focus on the overall picture to be able to get, get forward. If this is about a, an inherited um, issue, you know, I need to speak to each uh, family member, but maybe there's some um, information which is conflicting. Without that, then this is you, uh, you know, being confused in an issue where you feel like you're uh, spread thinly. Now, this is to do with your love and your home. Look, I'm really confused right now. I'm not actually sure what I want to do about that. So I'm, I feel like I need to speak to someone and get a second opinion. Uh, Desiree said, no, this is not the time to do what it is that you're um, wanting to do, what you want to push forward for. If you do this right now, you might regret it. And this is not the time to do this. Um... Because you're throwing out the baby with the bathwater. This is a time where you are feeling like if this is you uh, and, and you want to throw it all in, you know, and maybe maybe it's a phase, uh, a, a, an energy period. We are getting very close to the um, the new moon, uh, which is ending a cycle. Like I said, the two-year cycle uh, is coming to an end, the Mars cycle. And also um, this is the third uh, moon in a row, which have all been connected. So this might be, look, you know, I'm fed up, and I and I just want to chuck it all in. I just want to chuck it all in. I, I, you know, if it's that, then this is saying, look, give yourself a week, give yourself a couple of days, see how you feel then, because you don't want to act abruptly. Uh, now this is another Gemini sign, and she's saying, look, you've got to follow your heart, like you know, in your finances and career, you've actually, you know, got that um, prosperity. Uh, and the same with your um, health as well. So keep going, keep doing that movement forward. You're going to be very happy with the results. And as far as the decision to go, some of you are leaving. 
you're making that decision to cut out because you feel like this dependency, this toxic relationship. Maybe someone's trying to make you jump through hoops because um, they're manipulative. This is also man man manipulation. And so you've decided, look, I'm going to look after me uh, and that's where my prosperity is going to lay. So be kind to you and those you love and I shall see you next week.